To answer this question, we should start by drawing a PV plot. We're told that it's an expansion from one meters cubed to three meters cubed at a constant pressure of 2.5 kilopascals. We're told that while it's undergoing this expansion, heat is transferred in and the amount of heat is 12.5 kilojoules. A good technique to use when answering these questions is to write what you know of Q, W and the change in internal energy above the path on the PV plot. Okay, now part A asks us to calculate the change in internal energy for this case. We've got Q, we can easily calculate W as W is just the area under the PV graph. So in this case, it's 3 minus 1, which is 2, times 2.5, which gives us 5.0 kilojoules. The kilo comes about because we've got kilopascals over here. Now this is an expansion, so the work done on the gas is negative. Change in internal energy, according to the first law, is just the sum of these. So it's 12.5 minus 5.0, this will be in kilojoules. And that is equal to 7.50 to three significant figures, kilojoules. Okay, part B asks us to calculate the final temperature. And we're told that the initial temperature here is equal to 300 kelvins. Now we know that this is an ideal gas. So the easiest way to solve it is that the initial temperature over the initial volume is equal to the final temperature over the final volume, because so we've got PV is equal to nRT. Rearranging this, we've got T over V is equal to P over nR, and this remains constant in this case, so T on V remains constant. Okay, so substituting in, we've got 300 over 1 is equal to TF over the final volume, which is 3, so that tells us Tf is equal to 3 times 300, which gives us 900 kelvins.